You okay? No. It's not okay. It's having such a hard day today. Kim Kardashian breaks down in tears over her ex, Kanye West. We have different views sometimes. It all goes down on the latest episode of Hulu's The Kardashians. It was all seemingly filmed last year after the rapper made anti-Semitic comments both online and in a since-deleted appearance on the Drink Champs podcast. The thing about it, me and Adidas, is like, I could literally say anti-Semitic and they can't drop me. Now what? Now what? It sucks, you know, when someone doesn't see how different they are. But you keep looking for that person. I always will. You'll always, like, hope that you'll see a glimpse of them. I hope I do. I just can't it's okay. Get together. What you've been dealing with is not okay. It's really confusing for me. It's so different than the person that I married because that's who I loved and that's who I remember. I'll do anything to get that person back. You know what I feel is so bad for him. Kim and Kanye finalized their divorce last year after six years of marriage and share four children together. Have you spoken to him? No. And it's like, should do I you know if that out? will make you feel better? No, I don't think he'll probably go off on me. Following Ye's comments, Adidas, Vogue, and Balenciaga severed ties with the rapper, as did CAA, the talent agency that represented him. Several celebs spoke out too, condemning his anti-Semitic rants, including Kim, who tweeted at the time, hate speech is never okay or excusable. I stand together with the Jewish community and call on the terrible violence and hateful rhetoric towards them to come to an immediate end. I like feel guilty that I posted something in support of the Jewish community, then people dropped him today. And I'm like, is that my fault that like no. I posted that and did that like push them? And I should have just kept quiet. It's like, I never know what to do. The whole situation is sad and I don't know how to emotionally manage it. Like I'm conflicted because I don't ever want to jump in and be a part of a downfall for the father of my kids. Kim has been open about the great lengths she goes to in order to protect their children from headlines about their dad. I definitely protected him, mm -hmm. and I still will, mm -hmm. in the eyes of my kids, for my kids. Mm -hmm. So in my home, mm -hmm. my kids don't know anything that goes on mm -hmm. on the outside world. I'm so angry, but I'm also so sad. Your instinct wants to be like, wow, like I could never talk to this person again. But then you think of your babies. I am just in protection mode of my kids and just try to hide everything. I've been managing it the best way that I know how because I want my kids to see a healthy dad. You know, it's just a lot. So I take it like day by day. And all that echoes what a source told E.T. after her ex married Bianca Sensuri in a private but unofficial ceremony in January, explaining that Kim just wants Kanye to be at peace. I do have a family that I have to just be positive and get it together for. And for now, co-parenting is Kim's primary focus.